Hello everyone, welcome to Scalia.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today we're going to discuss the retinal detachments over here. Retinal detachments can be regarded or they can be defined as the separation between the neurosensory and the pigmentary layer of the retina. So it's basically a misnomer. Sometimes it's known as the detachment, it's, but it's not the complete retinal detachment from the choroid or it's not the complete retinal detachment from the sclera that we usually talk about. It's the uh, separation between these two layers that is basically regarded as the retinal detachment. So this is a, a final clinical presentation, but there are the multiple causative factors uh, towards the development of the retinal detachment over here. We need to discuss the classification of retinal detachment. So how do you classify this clinical condition is again very important. There are these three major categories for the development of this retinal kind of a condition uh, that is regarded as detachment. Uh, the first and the foremost category is the rigmatogenous retinal detachment. So in this particular category, we are talking about the retinal holes, the retinal breaks, the retinal degenerations or the retinal dystrophies, uh, whether it is a snail track or whether it is a lattice degeneration, whatever the case may be, may it be the congenital conditions or either there are the acquired conditions in the individual that are finally resulting in the retinal detachment or the tractional forces are again coupled up with this kind of a predisposing factor of the retina and the final outcome is the retinal detachment in these patients. So how do you clinically diagnose these cases? The treatment guidelines are also discussed along with this kind of a rigmatogenous retinal detachment over here. And then finally, the exudative retinal detachment. So sometimes a lot of inflammatory conditions as well as the long-standing uh, infections sometimes result in the tractional forces or it can be the retinal detachments that are the final outcomes in these cases of infections or the inflammations for these patients. The third and the most important category is the tractional retinal detachment. So sometimes there is a predisposed retina on one hand and then we have these tractional uh, forces that come into play. It can be the fibrovascular tissues that are responsible for these kind of tractional forces in these patients and they are sometimes responsible for the final clinical presentation of retinal detachment. So how do you diagnose these cases? the signs and symptomatologies that are related to these kind of tractional forces uh, that would be discussed along with the management guidelines uh, that are given for these patients. So there are these range of lectures that are available on ophthalmopathy. So do, do, do watch these lectures on our website. Thanks for watching and get access to watch the complete lectures.